I have the Google Pixel 7 Pro here, and today I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader for the entire Pixel 7 series. The process is rather easy, but does require a number of things to be set up ahead of time. For example, before we can unlock the bootloader of this phone, we first need to enable developer mode. Doing this, will reveal a hidden settings menu within the system menu labeled developer options and it is required in order to enable the OEM unlocking toggle. If you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode on the Google Pixel series, be sure to check the video description below as you'll find a link to a previous tutorial I did that shows all of those steps. You'll also need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on a PC, since we need to execute a Fastboot command in order to begin the bootloader unlock process. These tools need to be installed ahead of time, and again, if you're not familiar with how that is done, then you can find a link to a dedicated tutorial for that process in the video description as well. The last thing that I want to mention is that unlocking the bootloader will wipe all of the data you have on the smartphone. So if you need to save anything, back up as much of your personal data ahead of time so that you can restore that important data after we have unlocked the bootloader. Now that all of that other stuff is out of the way, let's begin the tutorial. So first, we need to go into that hidden developer options menu and enable a toggle labeled OEM unlocking. So once we find this in the menu, we're going to tap that toggle and tap enable. You may even be uh, asked to confirm if this is your device by unlocking the device through your fingerprint a pin, pattern, or a password. Once that toggle has been enabled, we then need to boot the Pixel 7 or the Pixel 7 Pro into fastboot mode. This is done by holding down the volume down button while the phone is booting up, but if you're not familiar with this process, then you can find a link to a previous tutorial I did in the video description below that shows all of the steps involved. Once we have the device in fastboot mode, then we'll want to connect it to the PC with a USB cable. And then from here, we're going to need to open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So now we have our Pixel 7 connected to the PC via a USB cable with our command prompt open in the correct folder. And if everything is set up correctly, we should be able to run the Fastboot space devices command and see a device returned via a bunch of letters and numbers with the term fastboot next to it. If you don't see anything listed here, then you likely have some USB related issues that need to be resolved. This could be as simple as installing the proper ADB drivers from Google, or it may require you to use a different USB cable, a different USB port, or even a different computer altogether. But once you see that command return a code for your connected device here, then we're going to run the fastboot space flashing space unlock command to begin the bootloader unlock process. So again, we just type out that command fastboot space flashing space unlock and then we press enter on the keyboard. 
executing that command will bring your Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro to the bootloader unlock page where you can choose to continue and unlock the bootloader or you can choose the do not unlock option to back out. If you back out, you will be booted back into the Android operating system and the bootloader will remain locked. But if we select the unlock bootloader option here, we're gonna do that by pressing the power button once this option is highlighted. Then the Pixel 7 series will be unlocked and the phone will perform a factory data reset. After the factory reset, you're gonna see the phone boot back into fast boot mode. And again, we're gonna press the power button with the start option highlighted to begin the process. And while you are in fast boot mode, you should see the device state say unlocked if we have completed the bootloader unlock process. So from here, we're gonna press the power button to select the start option. And then the phone is gonna boot up. You're gonna see this warning screen telling you that the bootloader is unlocked. And then it's gonna go through the normal boot animation sequence. After that's done, you're gonna be taken to the Android activation page where we need to set everything back up again. I'm gonna skip through all of this setup page and bring you back whenever the home screen is present. Once the Pixel 7 or the Pixel 7 Pro has booted back into Android, we're going to want to connect it to the internet via Wi-Fi or a mobile data connection and then enable developer mode again. After developer mode has been enabled again, we're going to go back into the developer options page and confirm that the bootloader is indeed unlocked by checking the OEM unlocking toggle here. As long as you're told that the bootloader is already unlocked, then you have completed the tutorial and now you can begin with rooting the phone or modding the phone in any way you choose.